and hello welcome YouTube welcome to this video uh, we're gonna talk about our free cat video and we want to basically move uh, this shape that we have created into uh, OBJ files okay object files um, I made this uh, we made this shape over the last few videos and we show you uh, show you how to make this sort of shape Alright, and the end result is that you want to separate this shape into some boundary conditions that such that you can export uh, all of these things into open foam. Alright, so that you can make your you can make your flow case and snappy hex mesh. I mean that's the ideal. So if you were to do that, uh, I haven't talked about open foam meshing yet, but at least on the free cat side, how can you uh, separate these things into boundary conditions like Okay, what you see here, I have this piping section boundary condition, inlet, I have this part, uh, I can separate this into inlets, outlets, the, the shell things, and of course this piping section. Okay, how do you do all of this uh, in the most convenient manner? Alright, so that's the uh, idea of this video. How do you separate the thing out in, into all of these so that you can export all of this as an object file? individually so yeah so that's that's the aim of today's video uh well today but for today's video remember this is uh this method works for this case it may not work for all cases uh but i roughly show you what i mean all right so i'll just delete all of this and let's bring you back to where we were the last video all right so Let's turn on this pad. All right. So last video, we were doing something like this. All right. We were having this uh, shape. All right. So there's there's some good and some bad of it. Um, if you want to select the faces, it's kind of a little um, crappy. No, no, not say crappy. Yeah. Uh, it's a little difficult to select the faces because these things are still like in hemispheres. And you see the center... The center pipe is like in pieces, if, if you can see. I can't select all the faces of this pipe in one go. In fact, this pipe is actually like uh, made into like two or three pieces here. You can see? Uh, so the center pipe doesn't select uh, as well as let's say the outside pipes. You can see the outside pipes, I can just select them um, and the whole, the whole surface is highlighted. So I don't want that. I want a surface where you know I can start easily selecting things. All right, how do I do that? Okay, um, the way one of the ways you can go about doing it is to refine the part. What what does it mean to refine the part? To refine the part means that it will join all these. It will join all these surfaces together. Now you can see this uh, this uh, surface here. For example, these two hemispheres should by 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 and large be one one full circle right um, so that's the idea of refining you want to join all these fragmented surfaces together so you can go to part and okay we, we can close this interface first for creating the shape we can go to part and you can go to refine shape you see this thing called refine shape here under the part under part and then you go to refine shape Okay, the other way to do it, I believe you can look for it somewhere inside this toolbar. Okay, I'm not really sure where. Alright. Um, okay, I don't really know where it is. But, okay, let's do this thing. Let's refine shape. Let's just refine the shape. And we'll see that now... I don't I have this uh, hemispheres joined together all right uh, I have these hemispheres joined together and now uh, it's much easier to select these uh, pipes and shapes so let's let's uh, do this very quickly I'm going to do what's already we are familiar with so we're going to create shapes using this utility here advanced utility to create shapes and I'm going to start making faces so let's do face from edges Okay, so this will be, let's call this the inlet, okay? Eh? So this is the inlet face, inlet. All right, then after that, I want to start making a shell. Hopefully to encompass everything, but I don't want to em encompass everything. Uh, I, just, I just want 
I mean, I want to try and encompass all of this here. And what you'll notice here is that it's kind of difficult. It's a little difficult to select all these pipes at once. Now that's a, that's a trouble with uh, this sort of shapes here. Okay, if I do if I do try and select everything here, and I want to make a shell. Okay. Okay, I can. Okay, I can. Can look at this shell. This shell. Uh, okay, sorry. This shell shape is roughly like this. So, okay, uh, that's basically what we need to do. And if let's say I want my outlet on the other side, okay, this one I will call, yeah, I'll just call that the shell. I'll call this the outlet. I will have face from edges, oopsie, face from edges, and I'll select this edge, and I will just create one called the outlet. Outlet. Okay, that's one way of doing it. All right, that's one way of doing it. Um, of course, uh, the other way is of course I I do my separation even better because if I want to have a heat transfer simulation, I want these shells in the middle uh, to do have a different boundary condition. But uh, well, I don't I don't really uh, need that. As of yet, uh, maybe in the heat transfer video we'll separate it, separate it out separately. We'll separate it out separately. Um, of course, uh, if you want different levels of refinement, let's say inside the the uh, shell here, and then you want different layer additions, etc., etc., you might want to separate out your your boundary conditions. I mean, you want you might want to separate out your uh, layers anyhow. So we can do shell from faces. I'll just select these two. Okay, I can't remember which side this was. Let's see. So this is the outlet shell. Okay, I just press space bar up and down, and you'll see that this this green thing appears here. And then I can I can just designate this two. I can designate this two as the outer shell. Okay. So yeah, that's the outer shell. So let's make a solid from faces. I'll co uh, collect these two and I will make this uh, I'll select this face I mean shell from faces okay so this is the outlet shell uh, our outlet uh, hemisphere okay so let's see this and here let's select uh, Deselect the pad and you see the outlet and the outlet hemisphere is here. Outlet and then the outlet hemisphere. Alright, then we can go and select the pipes in the middle. Alright. So you cannot select the individual pipes without selecting this uh, hemisphere base because they're looking for adjacent faces. So that's, that's something to, uh, for you to note with FreeCAD. Okay, so um, Let's do this. Select these faces. So I'm going to hold Control down, and then I'll sh I'll select. You notice that refine shape actually makes this job a lot easier. If not, uh, I could not. I was not able to select this. So let's go and make this part. And I'll call this the tubing. Tubing. Okay. Then uh, then I'll have this uh, inlet. This inlet bit. Okay. I have this inlet bit here. Uh, yeah, let's do the inlet bit. So let's turn off the tubing. Let's just go with the inlet bit and I'll make the shell from the faces. And I'll say, okay, close. Okay, let's call this the inlet tubing. Or inlet hemisphere. So you can see that making, at least for this shape, making uh making the the faces is actually pretty straightforward. You see this thing is hollow, and I, I put the inlet on, and it's okay. I can do the other side, the outlet. I put the outlet cap on, and I'll put the tubing on. So once I do this, uh, I can actually just export uh, each individual as a st. Uh, STL or whatever not file. So I'm just going to make a new folder. I'll call this the heat exchanger 
demo folder okay or here exchanger demo one all right and I'll just uh, export everything there okay so I'll just uh, highlight this inlet and I'll export as uh, inlet okay then I'll highlight this one I'll export outlet then I will go for the outlet hemisphere and then I'll go for the inlet hemisphere and then I'll go for the tubing part tubing alright so let's uh, open this up in Paraview All right, let's go to Paraview and open all of these and apply and you shall see this uh, shape come out and then let's let's uh, see whether disappearing the tubing uh, will in fact make this uh, shape yeah see you disappear the tubing and that's that's what happens so this is basically the goal of this video which is to show you how to do this of course there are many ways to do it um, Okay, there are many ways to do it, not just this. So let me just clean up the palette. I'll clean everything of this up. And of course I want to export the full thing, right? I want to export the full the full uh heat exchanger in case we need it. Okay. I want to export the full heat exchanger in case we need it. So I can turn all of these off and uh I'll just have the full heat heat exchanger here. Now just if I supply, you see the full heat exchanger is here. Perfect. Alright, so this is how we can kind of do it. Alright. Uh, yeah, that, that's one way of doing it. Uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'm guessing there are actually more ways of doing this uh, kind of OBJ ex, uh, exports. Though um, I'm not 100% sure of uh, that now. And this could be uh, useful, of course. This could be useful uh, depending on what tool you want to use. Like, uh, how do I say this? Uh, let's say you have, um, you have, what do you call that? 50, 50 of these tubes. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, anyway, uh, just debugging some things. Not, not very important to this video. Uh, yeah, so I can't fast forward that, that bit. You didn't see that. Okay, anyways, so um, let's, say, let's say you have 50 tubings here. 50 tubings. Now, um, you know, if you want to capture and select every single of those 50 tubings in that, it's not going to be a trivial task at all. Uh, and I'm suspecting there is some way to do, uh, do such a thing in FreeCAD. All right, do such a thing in FreeCAD. I mean, technically speaking, you can use a box and you just select all of these surfaces, but that doesn't work like when you are when you're trying to uh, make a new part. Apparently, I can just do this using a box selection. However, to make a body uh, out of it or to make make this into some sort of surface, I'm not completely sure how to do that just yet. Okay, um, yeah, I suppose, uh, yeah, this create shape tool is a bit limited in that regard. Uh, I'm not able to select so many surfaces using the uh, box selection if I use this create shape tool. No, that would be ideal. Then I can, you know, just uh, get as many shapes as I want from this, and my problem would therefore be solved. Okay, unfortunately, uh, this, this thing doesn't quite work uh, like this. So we we'll just have to make do with it for the time being. Okay, um, anyway, uh, that's all I have. Um, so just to recap, you, this video, it shows you how to do shape refinement. Okay, uh, under the part 2 box, right? Under part 2 box, you go to refine shape and it will join up all these uh, ugly surfaces and you'll make it into one surface so that when you do select it, it will be much easier for you. 
Alright, um, so that's that's what I have and we also learn how to export each of these individual surfaces into separate OBJ files such that you are able to then move it into Snappy Hack Smash and potentially assign different boundary conditions to each of these surfaces. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I can't uh, know everything about FreeCAD but what I know I will share and as I learn I do share. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.